8. Platonic Solids Introduction Platonic Solids and CPS It is known, at least since the ancient Greeks, that there are only five solids that have all their faces regular polygons. The five platonic solids, or platonic perfect bodies are, the tetrahedron, cube, octahedron, dodecahedron, and icosahedron. There is a belief, in the minds of many people, that must be something mystical about the platonic solids and all the other semi-regular solids, for that matter. In the minds of others, which like to consider themselves more sophisticated and mathematically inclined, there are a lot of irrational numbers that somehow they can use to make some sense of the existence of these objects. The perfect bodies look a bit magical for them too, but they are relatively happy with their understanding. For a very long time, I was a proud member of this group of people. Not anymore. Using the close packing of spheres, all the complexity and magic, all the irrational numbers of lengths and angles of these perfect solids are explained by one unifying principle. All the platonic solids can be assembled, constructed, and described by the right arrangement of the right number of identical spheres from CPS. The patterns for the first three platonic solids, namely the tetrahedron, octahedron and cube can be seen relatively easy in the CPS. For me, the Eureka moment, which gave birth to this geometry, happened when I was able to see the icosahedron and dodecahedron pattern well hidden inside the CPS. British Dictionary gives the following definition for proof. Any evidence that establishes or helps to establish the truth, validity, quality, etc., of something. Euclidean geometry is based on demonstrations as the method of establishing the truth of its propositions. Does one need any proof to show that something exists, if one is holding it in his hands and see it with his own eyes? The patterns of the platonic solids in CPS presented in the next five videos, and their corresponding real 3D structures, one can assemble and play with, are the only proof for their existence one needs. The proof is in the pudding.